the KSM show. Well, 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 as you can see today, I didn't start from back there in Namabe and Totuabi because we are here from last week. We've been here. I'm telling you, I told the doc, doc, this one there, stay on small. We'll do part one and part two. So um, part two starts today, and last week we hit on some very, very important things. Doc, let me ask this, mm -hmm. you know, because you gave a very great example. Oh, by the way, welcome back. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. One week. Huh? One week. <laughs> this is the fastest one week. I tell anyway, you. Doc, you hit on some very important thing, you know, talk about how sometimes a client will come who is very overweight and has a party or a wedding to be at in a couple of weeks, and then they want you to help reduce the weight. And you ask them, why do you think I do magic? Mm -hmm. You know, this is a lifestyle. We just don't, you know. Mm -hmm. Am I too late now? I've called you here. And now that we are facing with the, the virus, corona, mm -hmm. and I'm saying, oh, dog, but how do we build our immune system? Am I late already? Are we late already? Should we have, you have, you have this routine mm -hmm. that you do every day. Mm -hmm. And we'll be talking about them again. Mm -hmm. And I've just called you. Come and tell me how I can also build my immune system because there's the corona around. Am I late? Better be late than never. You are not late. We can all start from somewhere. Okay. I started from somewhere. Um, I well, you started long before. Oh, of course. <laughs> <a lot> of, <laughs> you know, good we who are dealing with it now. Now, who want to start mm. now? What are you can start now? Okay. And, you know, uh, there is a, a joke, but they say, if you want to learn how to swim, you can buy the best swimming costume, you can read all the books, but the only way you can learn how to swim is to hit the water. Okay. <laughs> you know, okay. so we learn by doing. <laughs> okay. You know, so we can all begin from now to start applying the principles that the health principles that have been shared or are being shared mm -hmm. and then let our bodies become the laboratory mm -hmm. where we experiment with these things and see for ourselves mm. that is the only way mm -hmm. we can know that the thing works or not okay okay so we are not too late now we have to start now yes. immediately yes doing stuff to build immune systems yes. and things like that mm -hmm. the big theory out there or oh, get vitamin C you know and every pharmacists have run out of vitamin C now mm -hmm. you know do we panic if we don't get the tablet now you what, see, what, you see, you see yeah. um, we have reduced everything to a tablet and a vaccine they are good but you see the vitamin C that you are taking if you get your lemon uh, it has vitamin C. You understand? And, and that is even more natural. But I'll tell you something. Um, we have moved away from the way we used to grow our food. Mm -hmm. We have messed up with our environment and I have introduced genetically modified food into our food chain and that is also in a way compromising our well-being mm -hmm. i'll tell you something have you observed that nowadays when you buy oranges eh, and it is peeled or when you see an orange you have some black 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 spots on it eh? i haven't paid attention yeah you, you 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 pay attention now that i've mentioned it pay attention to that you see that even when it is peeled, you see the black, black spots. Now, you know, where we grow most of our sweet oranges eh, are also areas where gold, we have gold. And in most of these areas now, because of galamse and, uh, you know, um, bad mining practices, a lot of um, chemicals have gone into the soil and the trees, they eat, you know, they drive their nutrients from mm. the soil mm. and they are drawing on these poisons. And that is also affecting the oranges. The fruits. 
Yeah. Yes. You see, so this thing about Galamse and other things, you see, a, a few of us, eh, a, the, how many people are doing Galamse? But they are compromising the well-being of all of us. And that is something that we have to take a look at. Look, I would, I would ask you to let your cameramen eh, go to places where we grow our vegetables and see the kind of water which is sometimes used mm. to water them, mm. Mm. especially watermelon. You know, watermelon is such that mm, whatever water you use to water it is also absorbed, absorbed into the food yeah. The, the, yeah. directly. Really? Okay, so you, you observe this. If you want to see how healthy your watermelon is, cut it and leave it out there in the open overnight. And when you wake up in the morning, see, it smells bad. Okay? So even though they will tell you that watermelon is healthy, which is yes, what kind of watermelon are you eating? Mm. How is how it grown? Thank you. Oranges are good. Look, you know, pineapple, pineapple. I went to a farm. I won't name the area. I don't want to spoil someone's business. But if they are listening to me, they better start healthy practices. Do you know that carbide, you see carbide, that is used, the world is used. They put carbide eh, on the, when the uh, fruit is ripening, they put carbide to help it grow faster and to ripen. So sometimes we send our pineapple to Europe and they are rejected because they are contaminated. They use carbide eh, to ripen banana. So when you come to my practice and we are doing a cleansing program, we tell you don't eat oranges, don't eat pineapple, don't eat bananas during the period we are doing the program. Because we don't want, you know, you are doing a cleansing program and, and you, you are putting these things in. If I don't know where the, uh, the fruit, is coming, the fruit is coming from, you know, I, I think twice before eating them. Uh, for instance, uh, up on the mountain, uh, I go to buy the bananas, you know, the whole bunch. And you can see that it is now ripening and I take it home, you leave it for some days and it you know ripens and that one you can see for yourself but what about what you can see go to the market you will see uh, maybe um, um, what, what do you call it red pepper eh? or uh, no, they add so many things because people want to make a fast buck but let me ask you this don't you think Ghana with all our land. And now that organic farming eh, is being healed all over the world yeah. and people are paying more yeah. for it. For the we can stuff. turn Ghana into an, a big organic farm. Eh, but we, we are rather now selling for the GMO. That is the thing. You see, uh, if you genetically modify it, look, your body also has an intelligence. Okay? You see, look at sugar. Sugar comes from sugar cane. Okay? You can use sugar cane to cure illness, but you can't use sugar to cure illness. Hmm. Because sugar would rather give you illness. Hmm. You, you understand? But you can use sugar cane as a <laughs> cure yeah. for illnesses? Y yeah. You, you, you see what I mean? Hmm. Now, we have tampered with uh, it, you know, so much so that now it gives you an ailment. And look, a host of ailments that we have in our system now is because of the acidity that is created in our system, which engenders you know, the growth of pathogens okay, through the consumption of sugar. I tell you, if you want to destroy a people, give them sugar always. And you destroy them. We are not eating sugar, we are eating honey. We had something, um, 
uh, that when you put in your mouth. Uh, as well. uh, uh, yes, as well. uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some red berry. Yeah, some red berry. Red berry, yeah. You know, I mean, can't you know our food scientists take this thing and find out, you know, how to turn it into something? You see, we are always waiting for mm -hmm. someone. But to look, do let, it me, for let us. me let me ask you this: as Americans who say the train has left the station. That, which means that the, the problem has brought to a point where, uh, too, you know, mm -hmm. we can't, can't bring the train back. You're talking about, because I know in America, in the UK, they look for organic stuff to buy, yes. and it's more expensive to buy the organic than the GMOs. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they've sent us the GMOs. We have signed agreements to import their GMOs, and that's what we are eating here. And they are now switching back to the organic, and they are buying the organic stuff. And like you said, how can't, why can't we turn Ghana into to be noted for growing organic stuff? Yes. But how, are we too late? I mean, we are not too late. Let me tell you this. You see, um, Ayurvedic medicine, uh, the British went to India. They told them, your system of medicine is not good. Meanwhile, meanwhile, if you look at allopathy, because Ayurveda, they do, they, they do uh, uh, um, uh, plastic surgery. Uh, they, you know, they brought in plastic surgery. They, they, they have, you know, they have old text which shows you how to dissect the body. They knew about all of these things, but they banned Ayurveda. And when they banned it, you know what they started doing? They started taking, you know, like castor oil. Did they grow castor oil plants in England? Eh? They took castor oil from India and brought it to us. They were traders who? They took the castor oil and brought it to us. And, you know, we need the castor oil, and it was good. Meanwhile, castor oil, the castor plant grows here. But they never told us that this is the castor plant. Hmm. You understand? Look, uh, uh, neem tree is known as kincho, the king's tree. They brought neem tree from India. Eh? And if you like, look, if you go to Castle Road, you see that uh, it is lined up on, on all our major roots eh? because they brought it for their sake eh? and so formally you couldn't cut a neem tree you needed the permission of the king before you could cut the neem tree because that was what was saving them from malaria you see now but still they brought us even though we were using it we stopped and they brought us a tablet okay now, after the tablet was brought, we were told Kincho is no longer good. You see? So our minds are being manipulated. Mm. And we are sort of going back to the Kincho because I know yes. everybody is like, Yes, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, people come like, let me give you the protocol, okay? If you come to Health Works, when you enter, we first do an initial evaluation. We see your psychosomatic or mind-body constitution you were born with because everyone is unique. And then we find the deviation, uh, the challenge that you have brought. We have so many ways of knowing that. We use both ancient wisdom and modern technology, okay, because we check your blood pressure, we can check your glucose level, and uh, you know everything your body mass index and all and then we send you into a machine room where massage chairs will massage your body to you know relax it or boost your immune system we have this equipment which boosts your immune system before we send you in for spinal alignment in ayurveda they call it meru chikitsa which means spinal therapy and the reason why we do this is this when your body was being formed the sperm began to fertilize the egg and it formed something that is called the zygote that tadpole like thing okay which is actually the brain and the spine and it is the body's communication system okay so if you want to broadcast health in the body then the brain and the spine must be in alignment. You observe that, you know, 
sometimes when certain parts of your spine are off balance, certain organs of your body will not respond well. Okay? So we first align your brain with the spine through a spinal, cerebrospinal alignment, and merutekissa, and then we have muscle treatment or myotherapy. And then we anoint your body uh, with oil pertaining to whatever ailment that you have brought will determine the kind of oil that will be used. We don't call it massage. Eh? Because abianga means to anoint the body. And so people come in and say, I want a massage. And you know, I say, we don't do massage here. <laughs> you know, but we push the toxins from the sides that they are back into the circulatory system and back into the digestive system, and then we flush them out. Now, after we have done with the uh, oleation of the body, then we put you into a steam box. Now, in that steam box, we have neem, eh? basically we have neem leaves, and we have some uh, rejuvenating and cleansing and you know uh, medicines which enhance circulation or all in that and then the steam you know the heat opens the pores and then the steam you know now goes through the pores and begins to you know affect whatever healing proce procedures so your body is sweating eh? your body is sweating the blood is being cleansed body is being reju rejuvenated and then when they finish they wrap you up so that your body will return back to its normal uh, um, temperature now people find this so rejuvenating but you see like you are saying uh, we stop doing all those things it's, if you don't have a steam box and you have um, um, uh, you know a piece of blanket eh, you can Cook your neem and then you know put your yeah. body in, you know steam your face and inhale yeah. the neem eh? and the vapor, eh? the steam will still go in and do the work. But we have left all of these things. But you see, I say right now we are all pushing the reset button back to factory mode. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to factory mode. Yes. <laughs> you know, we are yeah. going back to yeah. our original yeah. purity and integrity. Yeah. You know, and that is yeah. what this thing is teaching us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I have to tell the viewers that I've, I've been through the sure. housing system, and it's funny, you know, because yeah. when you put me through the heat thing, I just say, hey, so I thought it was like some regular sauna thing. They're yeah. not telling me the steam had all these yeah. uh, mm -hmm. uh, neem and everything, yeah. so it wasn't just a, yeah. a sauna thing, it was no. a whole cleansing thing. Yes. Well, you see, you see <laughs> we have, we have two systems, okay? We have palliative medicine and we have proper healing. You see, palliative medicine uh, is symptomatic uh, 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 headache aspirin. But what is causing the headache? It could be high blood pressure. It could be that you have cervical spondylosis. Maybe you slept, you know, uh, in a certain way, you slept on your stomach and, you know, your neck uh, is affected and is causing or maybe uh, your liver is, no, a lot of things can cause headache, okay? So if you just take um, uh, any medicine to dull the headache, you are just, you know, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. You know playing to the gallery. You, know, wow. you are not touching the base, okay? But when you go and you approach it, okay, you, you, you cleanse it and you take it out of the system, now, when you give medicine, so you will observe, now that you have said it, you know, uh, it's not me who said it to. <laughs> you see, now that you have, you observe that we cleanse you before giving you medicine. Because, you see, when you give the medicine, uh, the pathogens get, you know. And that was like what, 10 days of cleansing? Yes. It was, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, before we give you the medicine. And so that now when we give you the medicine, your system is so cleansed that the medicine goes directly into your cells. You and, see? and that's where the magic is. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, uh, Bob, but it's getting more and more exciting. And yes, I was there, actually, and uh, I think I've been there twice. Yes. Done the cleansing. And, um, you know, uh, I, I'm not saying it because it's here. 
when I got to work, I said, Kiss him, I'm there, I'm quite a fool. You know, I, I said, They are favorite. <laughs> that was the health was magic. That was the health was magic. <laughs> anyway, let's take a commercial break while we come back. More of Dr. Sasu. We'll be right back. KSM show. I have four and Nedia Yasanda be before from Bejasso, a year errata, Yen Tonkas and Kuan, say open quick service, open so maintaining a car, Ubetimi Abba, your war original synthetic oil that is castro oil for high grade cars and your low ones and we have the speed made oil from korea your brake pads your oil filters your all the original items that you need for your car and your board joints need to be and it is open quick service about your car please don't hesitate bomadi abre rata motors na ebe be bia ma so we part be na hwa ye dena ma na wunya wo bomadi ba wo ba me hu part na ebe chances no ba ebe order part na ma at the very reasonable cost and they say they are yeah, some for fraud and abba. The KSM Show. Mikra, sorry, not to jump, say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, ampa, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. My name is James Varikama, the, the composer of the song Asem Papa Biamati. Keep watching the KSM show, it's the best. And we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. So, I, you have given me the medical power, I forgot to get personal, but let's stay on the medical power for a few, maybe some five minutes, <laughs> then I can, get, I can get personal. So, so far, we've learned a lot, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, about the cleansing that you put people through. And I, and I remember I went through about 10 days mm -hmm. before when I was leaving, mm -hmm. you gave me some medication mm -hmm. to treat the things I had complained mm -hmm. about, you mm -hmm. know. Fantastic. Um, we are now still focusing on this corona thing, since that's mm -hmm. the most... Mm -hmm. Sure. Agent crisis that we're dealing with mm -hmm. now. Um, but basically, you're saying that the, the whole lifestyle has to change, right? Yes, we have to change our lifestyle. We have lifestyle. to change the lifestyle. We have to change and our lifestyle. You talked about diet. Mm -hmm. And one thing that anytime I bring out diet, when I say healthy food, they are bored and crowded, you know, it's a for diet, diet. You have the luxury of doing diet, diet you know. No, no. So, can you disabuse that? Because people believe that. You see, when you talk about diet, you're talking about very expensive food. It is, it is untrue. If you are a vegetarian, so to speak, I have assumed the, uh, the vegetarian diet for so many years, okay? Yeah. Ever since you've known me, Kweku. And, well, if I, my, my best food in this world is kinky, pepper, and avocado. Really? Yeah. Uh, how much do you buy kinky? One CD. Okay? Even currently, I have moved from corn kinky to millet kinky because the corn is now genetically modified. Mm. And so I have moved to, you know, uh, millet. millet kinky, which is very, very nice also. Now, then, so if the two of us uh, are going to eat, and I've gotten one ball of kinky. Now, tomatoes, onions, garlic, uh, ginger, uh, and pepper. They grind it for me and add uh, avocado, avocado. How much is it? Okay. Now, I take fruits. Okay. I buy fruits in bulk and I eat them in the mornings. We all buy fruit. How much is fruit? You see, but the thing is that some of the things that we add to the food, like uh, uh, 
uh, uh, tin tomatoes. It's a killer. Do you know what tin tomatoes? Do you know that a lot of tin tomatoes that you eat contains not less than four percent of tomatoes. Tomato. What it is is that it is a little bit of tomato starch, basically uh, um, potatoes, eh? starch, and then color. Hmm. The tin tomatoes that a lot of people. Meanwhile, you can make tin tomatoes yeah, yourself. Fresh. Yeah, by uh, uh, you know uh, grinding, you know uh, uh, blending the tomatoes, and you can add some sweet, a little bit of sweet potato to it, and you you get it. It it will be the thickening agent. Now, the sweet potato is different from the other uh, the Irish potato. Eh? Uh -huh. the sweet potato is good for your pancreas. You see, so when people say that. Uh, uh, you know, eating healthy, healthy is expensive. Look, if you are cocoa eh, and uh, uh, pottery, a cocoa, eh, pottery a cocoa is more expensive than if you are cocoa, mm. right? Because I am a vegetarian. People, in, there are people in my household who are not vegetarian, and I don't lord it over anyone. But at least I make sure that I give them the best. So I go to buy the fiacoco for them. Because if I leave them, they will go and buy the pottery, the pottery one. But the pottery one, excuse me, uh, those who sell, but they have been, been injected with growth hormones. Have you seen a pottery uh, a, cocoa, uh, a pottery fowl uh, with straight legs before? Did they are Alanta? <laughs> because the body is too heavy for the legs. So Alanta. Uh -huh. So when you eat them, Eh? The growth hormone and a lot of uh, antibiotics uh, that are, they have been injected with go into your system. Because when you cook them, you don't cook the antibiotic, you don't cook the growth hormone. And so you put on a lot of weight. You see, if you are in America, eh, you just look at one cow in America, how big it is, and look at our cows here. You know, fortunately, we don't uh, <laughs> put growth hormone. But now, there is something also, you see tilapia. Now, haven't you seen that now we are having big, 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 big tilapia? They are being fed with growth hormones. And so if you say, oh, I'm also going to eat fish, watch out for your tilapia. Me, they are sounding the alarm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you the thing. So, Kweku, it's not, it is not true that eating healthy. Uh, because if I tell you the things, uh, if you cleanse the uh, tomatoes well. Eh? It has a lot of lycopene, which is good for your prostate. <laughs> okay? The ginger, the garlic, the good for your circulation, bring your blood pressure down. Eh? And so, when you are having your uh, millet kinky with this and the avocado eh, is giving you uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, uh, stuff, you know, healthy stuff, how, how, how expensive is, is this? You know? Yeah. yeah. So, so when people tell me that, look, uh, I eat plantain. I eat yam. Okay? I eat gari. How expensive is plantain, yam, and gari? The only thing is that I will have it uh, without the meat. But if you choose to have oh, the meat, Get yourself some uh, meat which is also healthy. You understand? Mm, and, and, mm. Then, and then a lot of these things will be solved. Because, you see, uh, uh, at least if you are going to eat, ask yourself, like I said the last time, am I, I eating like to, to live, live or am I living to, to eat? eat? You know, yeah. and what I'm putting in my mouth. What is the consequence? Mm, mm. Haven't you observed that now, uh, in America and in Britain, they have stopped giving children sugary uh, this thing. But here, they have stopped, here, yeah, yeah. we are still doing that. You know? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I don't understand it. And what the whole law, I think it was the US about the 
their school feeding and have yes. kids food shouldn't contain any sugar yes. and stuff like that. They have yes. stopped. Yes. Yeah. And and now you know they are using they found out that uh, even corn syrup eh, makes them more money. Okay, so they will tell you that it doesn't contain sugar. But it has uh, corn, corn syrup. syrup. It's worse than uh, <laughs> the sugar. It is worse. That well, sweetener is a killer. Well, well. You well. know? Well, thank you, Doc, man. I mean, folks, I mean, the whole thing is a lifestyle thing. And even though we have brought this program on in, in the height of corona, he's assured us that it's not too late. Let's go back to the healthy lifestyle and, 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 and make it a lifestyle, not a temporary change and then you know that we are good to go right right yeah but i have you know you 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 are a reverend you are a reverend you're ordained yeah, reverend. yeah 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 i have a ministry yeah because a lot of people don't know that you know yeah is it csc csa center for spiritual awareness center for spiritual awareness which is the you know the educational department but the corporate name is christian spiritual alliance wow wow yeah. so your ministry that's a whole mind and body thing. That's sure, what yeah, I, 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 I teach. I teach people how to meditate, how to think well, how to take care of your body, how to exercise. All oh, the entire nine years. So talent management. I teach talent management. I teach time management. I teach stress management. And at this point, I'm sure the viewers are asking, how do we connect? <laughs> I thought we could. Health, so health ways is the medical yeah least. sure and, and and that is my private practice That's you see, your, oh, okay. I, I, I'll, I'll tell you something okay i'll tell you something you see even though i'm an ordained minister i don't want to live by trickery mm -hmm. okay uh, a lot of the disciples of jesus uh, paul was a builder tent maker okay now CSA, all of our ministers, they, they are lawyers, they are engineers, they mm. are school, help, you know, school heads and this thing, you know, corporate heads. Monday to Saturday, they have, go and do your normal work. Sunday, come, you are suffer. Don't come and sit down. You see, they say, they say that the devil finds work for idle hands. You see, if you are sitting down and you are thinking, oh, what am I going to eat next? <laughs> then, Charlie, let me dupe. <laughs> you know, and that is what some people find themselves. So, yeah. I, my, uh, you know, other profession is being an Ayurvedic practitioner, an Ayurvedic doctor. Okay. Okay. And that's health works. Works. That is health works. And that is my personal thing. It has nothing to do with CSA. Okay. Every, every month, uh, I contribute to CSA ministry. You understand what I get from Health West, I give it to uh, you know a portion to the church. Uh, other ministers also, we are almost all ministers. Mm. We all give to the church. We are professionals. All professionals. You know, so that nobody comes lazing about and saying, "Oh, God is good." No. They say, "Wait on the Lord," but whilst waiting, keep your hands busy. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot, eh? <laughs> Wait a lot, but the first I should do that. Then we from there again. When you're okay. waiting, keep your hands busy. Okay, 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 okay. So at uh, this point, let me let me get the uh, the number for health ways. Uh, health works. Those of you health works. Sorry, those of you who want to experience the cleansing. Uh, uh, what, what number can they call you on? Okay, zero two four four two five three six. Eight one zero two four four two five three six eight one, and that is my only telephone number. And please, if you call, I don't speak for long on telephone, mm. so make it short, you know, or send me a message. Yeah, or just. But I still come in. Yes. <laughs> uh, of course, when you call me, I'll show you where, you where, are. <laughs> where, where I am so that you can come. Mm. And it is better if you mm. send me a message, mm. I will respond immediately mm. because sometimes I may be driving. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, for me, when I enter, I just like the space, you know, have uh, the space for the massages, for the yeah, yeah. adjusting the spine, yeah. and all those, the, sure. whole, the whole nine yards. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It is so, a new dimension in wellness, you know. Okay. And, 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 Seriously speaking, 
by the grace of God, we've treated from president to pauper. We've treated, you know, a lot of big people in and out all over. In fact, someone even built a hospital f uh, for me in Port Harcourt. They wanted me to stop my practice to go to Port Harcourt. And I said, Ghana for the MPN here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, <laughs> you know, and I'm not going anywhere. And I, I know, I realized, uh, I heard that they made you a very good offer as well. Yes, you, yes. You said to stay here. Uh, in, in fact, uh, try Lebanon, try Japan and other parts of the world, including India, where I did a lot of training. Fantastic. You know, they wanted Fantastic. me to go to set up in Bangalore. But <laughs> Ghana. Ghana. Ghana is where I'm from. I have to give back to the environment which nurtured me. I hear you. I hear you. So, so love, man. And um, let's now. You're, from, you're, you're married with how many kids? Well, I have four children. And I have some adopted children also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Who's your wife? My wife is called Rose. Rose. Yes, okay. you, you know, you know her. <laughs> and uh, you know, you know, it's it's very strange. Currently, almost the entire family is turning into a medical family. Oh, really? One of my daughters is a nurse, you know, in the U.S. The other one has uh, a pharmacy and is also doing uh, her masters in public health. Wow! And they are telling me. Uh, Daddy, you have to uh, retire soon so that we can come and take over. Take over. <laughs> and I said, me, the day I retire is the day that they put my body in a coffin and send it away because I can't sit down uh, and it see just, that a person is ill and I can do something and yeah, see I'm sitting down. Just, no, 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 no. Yeah. I'll go crazy. <laughs> yeah. 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 That is, 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 is being worthwhile knowing that at least what I do has had an impact mm -hmm. on them mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, they are following suit. They're following suit, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, my daughter in America, you know, I've shown her, uh, you know, Ayurvedic ways of treating. Okay. And okay. sometimes she asks, and so they ask her, uh, well, one time, one of uh, the doctors asked her, you say your dad is doing this and that and that and that, and why are you here? <laughs> so really? I'm, I'm, I'm gaining experience to, to take <laughs> back home, you know. So is there like a conflict between your style of practice uh, and, and allopathy. No, 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 no. You see, <clears throat> let me tell you this. Um, Ayurveda is natural. Okay? Uh, like, you come to me sometimes and I will let you go to do lab tests. Even though we do uh, other investigations, yeah, yeah. you do your normal yeah. lab test. Yeah. You asked me to do that. So I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you see. Yeah. Now, if you have to go for surgery and it is something that should be done, I would say don't go and do surgery. But if you don't have to go and do surgery and the thing can be done, because there are times where maybe there's a protruding disc, uh, and they will say it is said, and I say you haven't had an accident. We have a way of putting it back in. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you know, we've had a lot of medical doctors, you know. In fact, at one time I had some medic, uh, allopathy medical doctors, doctor clients who had wanted me to, you know, go and teach some of these things mm -hmm. in Kolebu and all. But time, time, <laughs> time. <laughs> time time mm. he, but you know like since um i've been you know uh, giving the go ahead to teach in this part of the world uh, I'm, I'm also available but we have to look at the time yeah because yeah. man this is where i make my yeah. living you know yeah and, yeah uh, and leaving it to go and you know so if you want to come and you, I, I can train you where i am <laughs> you know okay mm -hmm. Beautiful, yeah. that's health work. And what about maybe some people would like to be a part of your ministry and those sure. other stuff? It's the same number. Oh, yeah, the same I, number. I, I mean, I have one number. <laughs> you see, it's, it's amazing. Uh, because, you know, like China, India, UK, US, and other parts of the world, I don't turn off my phone. Because every time is so yeah. much daytime. Yeah, every time. You know. <laughs> so, so if I change my phone number, uh, I have a problem. 
So I've been keeping the same phone number for a very long time. You see, you see that, you know, since, ever since you knew me, it's the same phone number. You know, I don't change the phone number. So, you know, I don't have a phone for CSA because you, you, you'll be talking to me and I'll direct you to CSA or I'll direct you to HealthWorks, Health you know. But when we are in CSE, I don't talk to you about Health West. When you are at Health West, so, you know, you, you know, I'll tell you something. Sometimes some of my clients, when they come in, you know, we have um, like gospel music early in the morning. You notice that. And sometimes they ask me, oh, where do you go to church? And I say, oh, at uh, CSE. Oh, I haven't heard of it. I say, well... Uh, whenever you want to hear of it, <laughs> you know, and, and, and that's it, you know, because, in fact, I have, I have had a lot of bishops come to me, you know, we are very close friends, but I have never, ever mentioned to them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, that is the way I am. I don't proselytize. Okay? I don't try to force people to my point of, you know, opinion. What I do is that if you experience me as CSE, experience me as CSE. Okay, if you experience me as health works, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So that you don't think that perhaps I want you as CSE to come to health works or I want yeah. you as health works. No, okay. I don't want that. Okay. okay. Those who come to me uh, come to me because God has drawn them, and that is why I don't advertise. Okay, like I told you when you called me, I said, well, "This is the best time to get me." You know, and look at the way nature has planned it. Because you know, getting me in here is <laughs> once in a blue moon, you see. Yeah. So now you got me and you got two. <laughs> <laughs> Chase of love, man. Chase of love, man. Well, 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 thank you so much, Dr. Sasu and Reverend Sasu, whichever way you know him. But we've learned a lot, man. And um, I think what I'm very, very happy about is that it is not too late. It's not too late to, to change your lifestyle and get more discipline into your life. And um, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be amazed by the results. How do, do you say your age in public? Oh, please. No? <laughs> <laughs> please. please. Uh, uh, you, you'll be surprised to know, but I'm telling you, something is working. Something is working. <laughs> I don't know whether it's the, <laughs> the, 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 the nasal cleansing. The nasal cleansing. You call it a netty pot, but in America, some call it naso. Okay. You know, it's a neti pot. Neti is nasa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so nasa cleansing uh, pot. Mm, mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And and just before we go, how does it feel? I mean, I mean, I'll try. It's, it, but it's, it's normal. Really? So yeah. Put it, 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 don't worry. Um, you know, see, I I sell some. I will make. I you know, I can't give you this because I've used it. Okay. But tomorrow, one I get my be, yes my thing. Sure. Okay. You get yours tomorrow. Okay. And also. I'm leaving you with an alkaline flask, okay? Oh, I've got this as a present for you. Thank you. Show some love, man. Oh, really? Because in an alkaline environment, eh, pathogens can't multiply. It is in an acidic environment that pathogens multiply. So if you drink this, if you hydrate your body with this. So I, I pour my water in this? Yeah, all first, the, time? Uh, the, the instructions are in. Okay. You pour hot water into it and then pour it out about three times, and then any time you drink water, you just pour it in, let it sit for a while and drink it. Okay. The taste of the water remains the same, but it purifies it and makes it alkaline. Say, alkaline, what do you call it? Flask. Alkaline flask, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've already cleansed it with okay. Uh, okay. the sanitizer. Okay. Fantastic, fantastic. And I heard people talking about this, and. I was thinking, wow, I have to get one of this now. I have well, one. well, you see, be aware of what you ask for because you'll get it. You'll get it. <laughs> if you call for it, you'll get it. So don't let anyone call coronavirus to Ghana. Let it pass over us. And I say amen to that. <laughs> Show some love, man. And folks, uh, we're coming to the end of part two. And this is the first time we have done two full parts. Normally, we'll do part one and then... The half of the following week, we do the, the, the conclusion. Oh. Yes, but this time we're going two full parts. You know, so, hey, show some love to him one more time. <laughs> and uh, coronavirus, we shall fight this. We shall fight this. This too shall pass. But we shall fight it with the right attitude, with the right lifestyle, and the right, 
uh, I'm trying to remember the three things was prayer, first, self discipline, prayer, meditation. Discipline, prayer, and meditation. We'll be right back. ASM show. Well, folks, uh, we've come to the end of our part one and part two. The first time we have done two parts, and we had to do it, man. The, the information was amazing, and I'm sure uh, you, 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 you had it yourself. And the number, again, is on your screen, and this number is for HealthWorks. It will get you to um, Dr. Sasu and um, make an appointment, see him. I have done that. You know, I've been there. I've been there twice, you know. Like you said, he won't even give you medication unless he cleanses you. And I was thinking I was enjoying a sauna. I wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't aware that you were feeding me with herbs to cleanse my system. But um, until we come back next week, stick around, keep watching the show, and you get nothing but the best. That's why we are the numero uno. <laughs>